Alright, determine if each relation or situation defines a function. Make an additional representation of the relation to help you and then justify the answer. On this one, is a student's ID a function of his or her, or, or her first name? Consider all students in your school. So, it's a function of the name. So, let's look at the names. And we'll compare this to the ID number. All right, so someone give me a name, Imrat Akhyan. All right, so if we take a name like Tyler, would we expect everyone with the name of Tyler to have the same ID number? No, no you would expect different ID numbers. So since the ID numbers would be different, we would say that this is not a function. And the explanation is this stuff, right account. All right, on number two, right account, what we need to see is that there's no x's on both sides, I guess. That's kind of part of it. But also, there's no exponents for x. Well, there kind of is. It's a phantom one, though, but we don't show that. Also, this is a linear relationship. This is in standard form. So, number two, right here, it is a function. If you ever have a linear function, unless that linear function is a vertical line, then it is a function. What I did right account, I looked at the equation. Does x have any exponents? No, it does not. That you can see anyways. It is a phantom one, technically. But, since there kind of also is nothing there like that, we can say that it is linear. Now, if x is in a denominator as well, then it would not be linear, but this one is not. So, we're in good shape on this one.